Hello my soccer universe. I was planning to do a short video on my thoughts on the Nike kits now that they have been released and I've seen them a little bit in action like I did for Adidas and Puma where you know in one minute I, I gave you my quick uh, thoughts on them. However then I read something that really 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 bugs me and I really need to get my thoughts on this off my chest. I really have to because I it just it drives me nuts. Um, let's say the short thing first. I actually think that uh, Nike to me is the big loser in the sweepstakes of who has the nicest uh, kids of the big three brands. I don't know. I call them the big three, which is uh, Nike, Adidas and Puma. Um, and although I can say that while the Adidas kits largely look all right, I really don't like the patch that they have showing on the back and on the underarms. Remind, it's so 2000. Uh, they had this template for the cheaper teams, like uh, cheaper teams, you know, lower level teams like um, Slovenia, Romania, and so on. I, I really hate that. Uh, makes the shirt look on, on the back far worse than on the front. Um, and yes, the boxes on the Puma wager is just look completely strange. However, the home jerseys, I don't find anything really egregious there. And in fact, they're actually quite some good looking ones. So those two I can put on the side, shelf it and say, okay, this is the time. They look all right. But with Nike, let's go for the general before I really go nuts. And, you know, I try to pull out all my national team uh, jerseys with Nike, uh, where I have, I think, a total of, uh, yeah, I have a total of 14 teams, uh, national teams that had at least at one point Nike. And I think all of these that I have back there still have Nike now. So that's good to know. No, Belgium doesn't. In any case, um, I really don't like most of their designs. I really don't. And the main reason behind it is this awful template. That is the first thing that I gotta say. There are some better ones, there are some worse ones. However, the general Nike template, and yeah, it's not released yet, but I have already uh, said my few cents on a upcoming Premier League jersey re review. Uh, will come uh, on this weekend, you'll get the first in installment. But um, you can definitely tell that this general template that is coming, I do not like. And yes, we had that with Nike before, when, for instance, in 2016, and you see on the side here the, port, the, the Euro winning port, Portugal kit, they went all over template, which this time, uh, to their credit, they did not go all out over template. I mean, it's not that uh, we have like a, a general theme forced down our throats. However, this uh, big shoulder yoke here and this rounded um, stuff this, with that we already saw with Adidas two, uh, two years ago just doesn't do it for me. And now within those, and I'm gonna uh, go quickly through all these shirts and I hope I will have enough time to put a few of them into the videos. Uh, I just wanna go quickly critique them. I mean, I think clearly the absolute worst from the ones that have been released are the US jerseys, where especially the home, home, home jersey already shows you. Why do we need this beep here in a different color. This is the one thing that I really don't like with this one and we'll see later on the, on the Netherlands. It ruins a jersey because it, this patch doesn't make any sense. If this is in the same color, all right, maybe it's a revo revolutionary way of color. Maybe it's easier for the players to take it on and off. All fine. However, this uh, US home jersey especially, uh, and if you uh, read all the marketing speech on the Nike website, I mean, it gets even worse from there. Uh, you see there's clearly something going wrong. They tried to combine in a soccer jersey the centralized crest for basketball teams, the uh, Nike swooshes like on American football teams, and the general striping like on NHL teams. Please, can we make a soccer jersey? So, go ahead. Saudi Arabia, I think, looks overall all right. I really like the palm pattern on the home, home jersey. Portugal, yeah. Uh, I think that um, a home jersey is awful it should be a flag that's draped over your shoulders it does not look right and the away jersey tries to combine two jerseys into one doesn't work for me 
Gotta say, Qatar, I was a little bit disappointed with the home jersey, but it has something nice with the flag pattern on the sleeves. And I think the away jersey is interesting. Poland, I think the away jersey is awesome. The red one, the white one, yeah, they should be feathers. I don't know. The Netherlands, the home jersey looks just too yellow. And the away jersey has the same problem as does the US home jersey. Uh, I like my uh, blue with a little bit of orange, but we don't need black accents in there. Keep it in the same blue. France, I really coming around for the home kit. The away kit, I actually, I somehow reason I like the colors and and it's on. It's just not original. Putting all these uh, photographs on the away jersey. Croatia home, forget it. The away jersey actually is something that I really really like. Um, then we have the big one, of course, is Brazil. I uh, gotta say, coming big time around to the home jersey with the Jaguar print pattern. I don't like the lighter color. I know they're going for the look from 2002. The away jersey blue with the Jaguar sleeves, not very Brazil. I think I would have liked it more if this was a yellow, but all right, so be it. I think I, I can leave it there. I think the Australia home jersey looks pretty cool. The away jersey looks pretty awful, although it has really nice colors. But again, what is this beep here? Just irks me. Uh, South Korea, I'm not sure I like the home 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 jersey, but the away jersey reminds me of the Leipzig uh, jersey that I have. Uh, it's pretty cool. And then we leave the potentially one of the more controversial ones for last. England, I think the home jersey is an absolute abomination. And I... See, see, in game, this black spot here up top doesn't do anything. However, I really think if you want to do a gradient, if they would have reversed it to have the white on top and then have the gradient go over on the sleeves, this might have not looked traditional, but uh, might, would have been just fine. The away jersey, though, is probably the most awesome jersey that Nike have released. Ah, uh, this has such a 90s vibe and a 90s vibes I like. I really, really, really like that one. This is probably the best of the bunch, if you would were to ask me. Now, this is all but one Nike team. And this is what really irks me. We have now talked about <laughs> six, seven, seven minutes. Canada does not get any new jerseys. And Jonathan David in a friendly yesterday, when he scored a goal, he celebrated by hiding the swoosh. Yes, he's an Adidas athlete, so that, uh, that clearly uh, was in there. But to me, this is absolutely outrageous. And don't give me the speak that they're on a different kit release schedule like they say on Nike. Yes, the jerseys are simple, but that's the problem. They are just templates. They are team wear with, a, with the really bad Canada crest slapped upon it. Canada deserves better. Way better. We don't need to go Nigeria levels of uh, better. But we at least deserve a normally produced with some thought put into it jersey. If you just put a regular red jersey and have some sort of a maple leaf on there as a big pattern, you already have one. It is much better than what you got out there. And I think it's an absolute shame on Nike that you have a team that has qualified for the first time since 1986 that is also within your, you know, it's the neighboring country of the US. This team deserves a new kit. And if you put out a teamwork kit, give them a new teamwork kit. I really do, I really hate this uh, move from, uh, or non-move, I should say, from, from, from Nike, because those Canada jerseys are frankly quite boring. It just doesn't make any sense to me. We put all the development and I have to have the quantum. I think some of the Nike women's jerseys were really cool. Uh, some were so and so, but you know, at least they put dedicated women's jerseys out there. Now for the World Cup, you have a team that has qualified for, for the World Cup. This was all the talk during qualification in CONCACAF. A team that took CONCACAF by storm that's played excitingly, has high hopes, has a big um, stage now. And you'll be getting the same kit as before. And I just don't get it. And at least give us, if you're not giving a whole set, at least give us one. Give us a new red home jersey. Because on the red home jersey, the slightly uh, lighter red sleeves with all the patterning on there. Well, I would agree this was an interesting uh, template shirt. It just looks the cheapest shirt of all in the World Cup so far. 
we have not seen Cameroon and some other jerseys yet, so I, I don't... It just... Ugh. This is such a dumb move by Nike, I cannot begin to explain how, it, how disappointed I am by the whole thing. And so, yeah. For me, with this, Nike takes a big L in my book. Um, I am, anyway, not really dying to buy at this moment any... Uh, of the new World Cup jerseys, I gotta be frank as well. I have, and you will see soon, I will have of all 30, 32 teams that have qualified, I will have at least one jersey. Um, so that's uh, already something it doesn't really need, but maybe I will get one or two. But at the moment, I'm looking more at Adidas and Puma than I look at Nike. I gotta be honest with that so yeah it's really really weird maybe i'll break a tradition uh for the last two world cups i bought uh always one or two jerseys ahead or last three world cups i bought one or two jerseys ahead of the world cup and those teams ended up at least in the semi-finals so yeah maybe that oracle will go down the train in any case please let, let, let me know what you think about uh nike not releasing anything for um canada it just i don't understand it I don't I understand maybe the, the there's a contract, blah, 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 behind it. But you can rise above. Don't make it such a business speak. I mean, the whole Nike page is absolutely just business, blah, blah, bullshit. Don't give me that. So we have that part. But uh, what do you think about that? What do you think about Jen Jen, about the Nike jerseys? Uh, and who do you think of the three brands that I mentioned other, uh, the, have to release the best jerseys for the World Cup? Which is anyway a weird thing because most of the st uh, templates we have already seen uh, in the club season because the World Cup is now in the winter. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking on the bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.